All right, now we're gonna move on to lesson four. And this is where I'm gonna start teaching you how to tape for certain types of skin injuries. And so um, obviously make sure that your hands are dry um, and that just helps this, the tape stick on uh, more clearly. Um, and I'm just gonna draw a U here and that's gonna represent a flapper, right? So sometimes we get flappers and um, it's usually on um, this part of your palm at the top, at the base of the finger. Um, if you wanna get more anatomical, that's where A1, uh, the A1 pulley is. Um, but we're gonna pretend that this is a flapper and I'm gonna teach you how to tape um, the flapper up. So um, you're gonna use that roll of tape and you're gonna grab it from uh, the half side that we didn't divide it. So you're gonna take that whole strip and you're going to pull off about a forearm's length. So let me go ahead and do that really quick. All right, so I've got my strip, and it's about a forearm's length, okay? Now, what you wanna do is grab the middle of it. You're gonna find the middle, and I'm gonna put my middle finger right through there, and so that I have the middle of the piece of tape um, wrapping around the base of my finger, and when I hold it upside down, it looks like that, right? So you're just finding that midway point and make sure your strands don't stick together like mine are kind of doing. But you want it to be the halfway point, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay down the strips over the flapper that we just uh, made, right? So if you had that flapper in that spot or any of the fingers, then you're gonna do this diagonal down pattern down to the wrist. You're gonna flip that over and do the same thing on the other side. And so what you notice this does is this would cover up the flapper that we have, okay? Now, to cinch this down, because these strips are just kind of straight down, and if I climbed on this, I'm pretty sure that the tape would come off. And so what we need to do is add another strip of tape as an anchor on the wrist. So I'm going to tear off another strip off of this roll, um, and it's going to be about the same length, about uh, maybe a forearm or less. So I got my other piece of tape here, and I've got um, this X pattern that I am gonna cinch down like so. And then to do the anchor, all we're gonna do is wrap around the wrist, and you're gonna wrap um, over the strands here. And so what, what that does is that anchors down these strands that we just put down, and then it's gonna stay on more. So, so you got, then uh, we tore off two strips of tape. We use the sides that's not divided into thirds. And then we wrapped the middle around um, the backside of our finger at the base. And then we did this cross pattern over the flapper and then we anchored it down on the wrist so that um, this state, the tape stays on longer. So if I were to climb on this, I'm feeling pretty good. My flapper is covered and I can continue climbing without opening this flapper up or making it worse.